drifting on his way to university. Despite having lived in the UK half his life, he's been refused a student loan because of a row about his immigration status. It means his plans to study at Imperial College London have been thrown into doubt, as Rex Martel explains. I got maths A star, further maths A star, physics A star, chemistry A star. He's one of the top students in the country, but a dispute over his immigration status means he won't be able to go to university this year. It's devastating. I mean, um, I feel it's very unfair, and I would, um, I would like to put a stop to this not just for myself but for other fellow students who are in the same situation as me. Hassan Al Shabazz has lived in Britain half his life, but isn't eligible for a student loan because his family arrived from Iraq. In 2006. It's very, very frustrating and the problem was is that I, I have, it was something that's completely out of my control. It was my immigration status, it was our visa, there was nothing that me or my family could actually do to change it. It's thought there are up to a thousand students in the same position. It's young people who, who basically feel British, sound British. For anyone who meets them on the street, they don't think they are British. They've been here for most of their lives. They have no intention of leaving Britain. They're as English as you are, all right, for all intents and purposes, and yet they can't go to university and fulfill their potential and give back to the community that's given so much to them already. Hassan and his family only came to the UK after fleeing persecution during the Iraq war. The situation was horrible, there, there was a lot of killings, it was part of our daily routine almost, and it was it was something that you couldn't live in, it wasn't an environment to live in, it was more about survival. His immigration status means he'd have to pay the international rate to go here, currently £26,000 a year. £26,000 per year is uh, an awful lot of money, which I obviously could not uh, afford, and the fact that I wasn't entitled to a student loan despite actually um, li living in the United Kingdom for most of my life. That was something that's very frustrated and it was a small technicality it felt that I was, that I failed as a result of that. He might have failed to get into university this year, but this successful A-star student isn't giving up, taking on the government to continue his education. Rags Martel, ITV News, Kensington.